How's it going, guys? I just want to share a little story with you of just three examples of something that happened recently, right? Um, you know, as you're going, around, you're going about your business, sometimes you don't actually realise how differently you will be doing things in comparison to everybody else, which can be either a good thing or a bad thing. But you don't realise how different you are operating or you're behaving until you speak to other people, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to just tell you three examples here of something that just happened in the last few days, right? So you might have heard me chatting away saying that I was going to... Uh, I was going to start learning how to use Instagram for business, right? So when I was away, I decided that, and I was kind of getting into work mode as I was going back. So I'm like, right, I'm going into Instagram. I went onto the internet. I seen the top people selling courses and stuff like that, and I and like the courses are like two fifty, three hundred dollars, all these different amounts, right? <clears throat> I spent about fifteen hundred euros or fifteen hundred dollars because it was in dollars um, on Instagram courses, right? Of which. I would say at least $1,200 of that was completely wasted, right? But like for four or five days, I completely immersed myself in Instagram and I thought, that's a pile of shite, that's a pile of shite, that's a pile of shite, right? But this here works. But I only knew that this here, whatever that example was, was good because uh, because I had checked all these other things, if, if you know what I'm saying, right? So I knew this is, this is better than everything else that's out there at the minute that I get my hands on. Got it, right? In the past, I wouldn't have bought all those courses. I would have bought one... <laughs> I would have hired one person. I would have just let it roll with them. I would have just left left that as is, right? Um, and then I probably would have complained and said, oh, this is crap, right? But I just went all in. Boom. That was it, right? Then, for example, last night, I'm like, you know what? I need to get something sorted out there where they, uh, where people can, you know, they can sign, they can sign documents that my office can send them documents that they can sign them from their iPhone because pen paper scanning that's all that's gone out with the indians you know so i'm going to bed and um, the whole house is asleep i'm like right i must do that in the morning I'm like no you know what? i'm gonna do it now went on to I, I posted into a group that i'm a member of saying does anybody know a good app for signing things right and the people posted three or four or five different names actually four different names right so uh straight away i went on and bought four of the apps and i'm playing around with them last night and now it's like this is difficult for me this doesn't work for me this one here does work for me right so then this morning when I got up, I had about 30 minutes playing around with the app and the document and amalgamating it into my system. And before I even got to the office, because I was going to the gym this morning, before I even got to the office, I had documents sent to Ryan, who works in my office, for him to sign and send back to me purely as tests. Now, and most other people, in my opinion, would possibly be like, you know what, when I get up in the morning, after I go to the gym, I'm going to go and get that sorted. But like, I'm just like... Boom, from the time you think, like, I knew I needed it to be, I knew I needed to have this done. So from the time you think of it to the time you get it done, you need to bring it as short as possible. I wasn't uh, concerned about buying four apps at $40 a piece and knowing that three of them are going to be a waste of time. I was concerned about wasting my own time, so I just got onto it, you know. And then, and this is what prompted me to make this video. Then I was just chatting to a lad there a little while ago about a little bit of business we're doing. And he's like, yeah, I'm an awful man for saying stuff and not, not making it happen. I'm like, listen, just watch the way I do things and, and it will happen. So we agreed a business and at, we agreed the price and all that. And at the end of the call, I said, look, I'm going to just send you... Uh, the, the app that I'm using is called DocuSign. Ed, Ed Kenny's asking. Um, Ryan just sent it to me, found it great, so easy to use. Cheers, Brendan. So you're one of the first guys that would have got it from that particular app, right? Um... But uh, so I agreed with the guy, the little bit of business, we agreed the price, what I was going to do, everything else. And, I, and as I'm about to hang up the phone, I said, look, I'll send you an email just to summarize that because where there's money involved, you don't want to ever leave anything that uh, could be misinterpreted, you know. And uh, he says, yeah, yeah, no worries, man. I'm going to be in Dublin there next week. So uh, or the end of the week, whatever. So are you around to, to, to have a cup of coffee or that? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. But for what? To talk about this, I'm like... That's done in my eyes. I'm going to send him the email. I'm going to put... And here's a... And you know, Ed Kenny knows this because I told him the other day. Here's a... Fa here's like the simplest thing. And actually, if, he's, if anybody's watching this video, will write this in the comments because people will be like, what's that about? And they learn something from it. <clears throat> this is the exact thing you need to say to people. Can you please confirm by your... Can you please confirm by reply that you are happy to proceed on this basis? Can you please confirm by reply that you are happy to proceed on this basis and that means people can reply to the email and say yes okay go ahead no problem yes thank you one more responses from them so you've done all the work from there right so this guy said to me i'm like that's done and then i'm like so what's the point of me i said i'll tell you what let's push this and when we make a few quid from it then we meet up the following week you know because there's no point in meeting people just for the sake of meeting people you want to be pushing these things all the time you know so i've got it agreed done dusted 
I'll go into my office now. I have to see Rachel and talk to her for maybe 10 minutes and then I'll send her the email and uh, boom, it's done. But it's only when I'll be speaking to other people that I realise that it's not that I get stuff done extremely fast. I just see that other people have a tendency to let, let things take a long time to get done. And if that means if you can get like 10 tasks done in a day and a typical guy is getting seven, within three days, you have an extra day's work done on him, you know? So uh, just bear that in mind, guys. And can you please confirm by reply that you are happy to proceed on this basis? Boom. Okay, take it easy. Stay cool.